you know, it wasn't a case of we were drawing the game against Rovers and I suppose like you've seen lots of times the opposition have retreated and it's Rovers putting all the pressure on for the last 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, you know, it was us applying the pressure and having the territory. So that will give the players confidence. But ultimately, um, you know, we... we um, it's 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 kind of with us. It's it is it is small steps um, in regards everything all across the board. As I said about last week, probably knowing a bit more experience in regards playing playing the situation a little bit better against Strada and that. But that'll all come in time. And once boys get used to each other, and we have a lot of young boys as well, so it's all part of the sort of uh, the learning curve for them. You know, there's still even though there's no crowds, it, it mightn't. They still they still play very competitive the matches you know they still play the pace of the game is is still there and the edge is still there so I know there's no crowds and obviously noise factor for you you guys when you're reporting it might seem a little, little different but the pace of the game and that and it, in most of the matches especially in the derbies are st- it's still the same tempo you probably just don't get the big reaction off a tackle or a goal that you would with a full house you know but uh, the actual down on the ground um. Well, I've been down on the sideline, obviously, and um, you know there has been a right tempo to the games. And Daily Mount was no different when we played Bowes at Daily Mount early in the season, and and Friday will be no different again. Look, Bowes have a big squad, very big squad, and over the course of time, I suppose it might help a little bit as well in, in the in the busy schedules. If you have a big squad to call upon, you have different options, and um, you mightn't be as impacted as much injury wise or that. But they're a talented squad, so over the course of time, you were expecting them to to pick up results and um you know they have done that so ultimately they have good players and that's probably the main reason of why they um they've they've picked up you know it was for early doors it was probably a little bit of a false position they were in so um you know we were under no illusions that obviously Bowes were going to be the one of the strongest teams in the league over the course of a league campaign yeah named them very well when he came on on Friday um again young boy 18 year old so First time away from home and that since he's come and first time in a first like regular first team environment and I suppose out of academy football in regards what's at stake and what's on the line in regards you know a real consequence of results and winning and losing so um you know he's been really working really hard in training and doing extra bits after training and we've been working on him with after training and that so you know he can be very happy obviously it's his first senior goal on Friday and. Goal aside, his impact was very good when he came on. It was a real physical presence, so very happy for him, I suppose. Um, you know, one thing scoring and that, and then very ha- happy with them uh, coming on, having such an impact. 